Hey everyone, I'm here at my latest pineapple project, which is in the preserve at Smith Run in the city of Fredericksburg. And we aren't doing a complete renovation as in renovating bathrooms and kitchens, but we're doing a lot of cosmetic work, both inside and outside on this home to get it ready to go on the market. Today is a Thursday and our plan is to have photos done in one week. So a week from today, we're gonna have it all ready to go with photos done. So let's see what progress we make in the next week. Welcome to the inside of my latest pineapple project. I'm going to guide you through a couple of the things we're going to be doing on the inside to make this house just absolutely sparkle and shine, be fresh and ready to move into. And when that first buyer walks through the door, they are going to be so impressed. So stick around and see what the before looks like on the inside. So as you come in, it has nice wood floors, stairs that go up, two-story foyer. But one thing we're gonna do is this carpet, look at this carpet, carpet's gonna be replaced. This is a Berber carpet original. Um, in the dining room, there's some painting that needs to be done. This is residue of an old leak that has been since repaired. We're gonna stage these rooms as well. Here's the kitchen. So we are gonna have a cleaning. Look how dirty this is in here. We're gonna have that all nice and cleaned out. Looking good, ready to go. Inside the fridge, on the countertops, wiping down the cabinets. It's gonna look so fresh in here. Uh, this carpet's gonna be replaced here. It's gonna look great. Carpet's gonna be replaced in the office over here. And throughout the entire house, we're having paint touch-ups being done. So you can see like stuff like this on the wall that's gonna be taken off, painted over. Basement is unfinished, but that's gonna be sweeped out. Let's go upstairs. This carpet's gonna be replaced. Look how gross it is. But things like this on the stairwell are gonna be touched up. So it's gonna look really fresh coming up these stairs. See there's old seams in here, all gonna be gone. Same in this bedroom. This bedroom is pretty bad. It's gonna be completely painted. See the drywall repair that needs to be done. These dirt spots and everything is gonna be clean. So these baseboards are gonna shine. The bathrooms are gonna be incredible. We're gonna get rid of all this stuff. This room is gonna to look top notch. We're gonna make sure the toilet and everything is clean, gross. We're gonna make sure everything is good to go. And I'll take you into the primary bedroom, new carpet, even in the closets, new carpet. New carpet in here, touch up paint, cleaning, and look at the before of the shower. It's pretty gross. That's all gonna get nice and clean. It's just gonna sparkle. And they're also gonna do uh, the windows inside and out, which will be really nice. Hallway, new carpet. Hopefully they clean the top of the lights. I don't know if you could see that, but pretty dirty. This room up here has a drywall repair that needs to be done. Right here, there's like a hole. So we're gonna get that taken care of. More touch-ups, more carpet, bathroom. Gonna make sure it has a good cleaning. I don't think this bathroom is used very much, so this actually looks okay, but it will be definitely cleaned out. And then I'll show you this from the outside, but see this rust stain on the window? We're gonna figure out how to get rid of that on the window, but the whole back of the house has a big stain on the back. Um, that issue has already been resolved. So the issue was a leaking condensate line uh, for the air conditioning, that has already been repaired and replaced and 
uh, good to go. But I'll show you the back of the house when I do the outside so you can see how bad it looks. So this is the inside before. On the outside of the home, this is the front door. You'll notice that the front door has a lot of rot and peeling paint. So we are going to have that all scraped, repaired and repainted. So it is nice and fresh for the new owner. And this beautiful window has some damage here at the bottom. So we're actually going to uh, add some design elements um, as part of the repair so that we don't have to replace this entire piece, but just the pieces that I've rotted. And then we're gonna add uh, some design elements to the side to make it work with the rest of it. Uh, the landscape is gonna be worked on as well. Bushes are gonna be trimmed. We're gonna put in a bunch of brown mulch just make it look nice and fresh on the outside. And we also are gonna do a great power washing. You might not be able to tell in detail, but there is definitely a need for power washing of the home and that absolutely makes a difference as well. So, I mean, look at this uh, window. You can see the mildew that's on there. We're just gonna get that all off, make it nice and fresh and shine. The siding of this house is hardy plank. So that's gonna show really well once we get the power washing done. Now, I wanna show you out back a major thing that needs to be accomplished, and that is this. So a few years ago, there was a leak in the air conditioning condensation line, and it went unnoticed for a while. And so the back of this house has this rust stain on it. Now the air conditioning has been repaired, no issue with that but we need to get this rust taken care of. So we're gonna be scrubbing the back of the house and the entire back of the house is gonna be repainted and it's gonna look gorgeous. We're even gonna take care of the trim and we're gonna do our best to get the rust off of that window at the back. Um, in worst case scenario, we might need to replace that one panel of window. Uh, this house has vinyl everywhere except for the doors. So this back door, you can see, this back door is gonna to need to be scraped and painted as well. So we're gonna take care of that. There's no deck on the back of the home, but that's for the future owner to decide what they wanna do with it. The neighbor's house doesn't have one either. And then on this side of the house, again, power washing, but these downspouts are missing their elbow joints. So the water is just going straight down. Uh, so we are going to add those elbow joints in just to protect the foundation of the home. And as always, when we're doing a pineapple project, we put our little sign in the yard just to let the neighbors know what's going on. Because one thing that does happen is the house does end up looking a little bit more ragged before it looks awesome. And so letting the neighbors know what we're doing, I think is important. And there also might be neighbors who are interested in doing the same thing and I'd love to be able to help them. So thank you for tuning in to my before of our latest pineapple project here in Fredericksburg, Virginia. If you or someone you know is thinking about making a move and needs to do some renovations or cosmetic work to their house before it goes on the market in order to ensure top dollar, reach out. I will get with them, have a consultation, and we'll talk about the options and what the return on investment would be so they can make the best decisions. Hope you have a great day. See you real soon. Yeah.